killing. What was it? Ned, what are you doing in my room? You may let me in. You said we're going to finish a Death Star. She doesn't know. Nobody knows. Well, I mean, Mr. Stark knows because he made my soup, but that's it. Tony Stark made you that? Are you an Avenger? Yeah, basically. <gasps> Dude, you can't tell anybody about this. Gotta keep it a secret. I'll level with you. I don't think I can keep this a secret. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I'm going to tell you about this at school tomorrow, okay? Great. Can you spit Venom? You have any idea? Can you summon an army of spiders? No, Ned. Do you know him, too? I stole his shield. Wow. Then he beat me up. Oh. Movie lovers. <laughs> Special edition of On the Set right here with Tony Revolori and Jacob. Battle on. And we are here for Spider-Man Homecoming. Yep. And we're Sorry. at a secret set at a secret location. So y'all find out about all that later. But first, I mean, how amazing does it feel for any kid to grow up and now be in a superhero movie like how, what's that feeling like just it's um insane like you said every little kid dreams of being in these movies i certainly did as a young adult and i never thought it was ever going to happen but now it has and it's it's kind of a surreal feeling you don't think it's real and then you see tom holland who's you know playing spider-man walk on set in the costume and you're just like <laughs> yeah yeah it's amazing i mean you had Huge fans from Grand Budapest and Dope and the other projects. But, I mean, like, is your, your nerd fan group? Not, no offense to the nerd. I mean, it, I'm I respectful love the nerds. nerd. Yeah, I, love I mean, it. but is that is that fan group just blown up on your social media followers and stuff? Like, it's, <laughs> It definitely see? has. Um, I've definitely noticed an upkick, uh, uptick of, uh, of that happening. And I'm loving the fans. They do amazing things. They're, They're <laughs> insane with their... Photoshops and they're insane with their comments, but I love it all. I read it all. They might not realize I read every message and it's comment funny. and everything. By the way, whoever says that it. stuff, it's really funny. We well, love you should, it. You should, keep, you should keep saying those things. It's, and, um, <laughs> I love reading it also. And it's just, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, I have a blast seeing it all, and the fandom is just fantastic from all the films and yeah. just in general. Very yeah. true. If, if you, I, I have to talk about what must have been like one of the hardest periods of your life. I mean, you. I know you, you worked for it, you came through the casting, but you don't have a huge f film resume, and now you're in Spider-Man, and you can't tell nobody. Yeah. Like, how was that to be like, I'm mm. in this biggest movie of my, of my life, <laughs> biggest movie of yeah. most people's career, yeah. but I can't even say anything. Um, <clears throat> it was more like, I was just so like enraptured in the whole fact of, I'm just trying to get the job. Like the whole, like I didn't even care that people didn't know because I, for one, I didn't even know who I was gonna be anyway. Right. And um, so like, it was really just like keeping my head down. What was really tough was trying, I couldn't talk yeah. to anyone like about it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I couldn't tell anyone how I felt about it per se because they can't know. That yeah. was that was the hardest part. Cause I, even, and the thing is like you, you go into an audition as actors, you know, and you take an audition and then you leave it. You never think it's gonna come back. Yeah. And then when it does, you start getting more hopeful, hopeful yeah. and hopeful and hopeful. And then yeah. by the seventh callback, you're like, I have to have it now. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a stress growing thing and you're not even thinking about where this movie is gonna take you if exactly. you do get it. You're thinking about the moment now. And yeah. so it's a very present day thing that you, you have and I'm sure he felt it. It's really, yeah, it's like really just like, it's, so, it's moments that are just like separated by like understanding whether or not you're gonna get the role or even be a part of the film. Yeah. And then it's just like... And to all those people who, who, who said you could never do nothing yeah, in your life and all that, really. you can just quote Phil Collins, against all odds, take a look at me now. <laughs> it's great. No, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, look at it's a me wonderful now. feeling because a lot, of people, a lot of people don't really like realize what actors go through like on a regular basis of, you know, constant rejection. Oh, 1,000%. Um, you know, all those things. You have to be thick skinned. Yeah, you have to be very Although we don't, yeah. we don't do anything too daring, like, you know, we're not like in the army or anything like that, but mm -hmm. it is a difficult process mentally to be rejected constantly. Mm -hmm. And the thing that people never realize, if you do a stunt that looks dangerous, more than not, you probably have done it six or seven times. Mm -hmm. And that's what never, no one ever tells you. Yeah. Yeah. I had to, you know, jump in a pool and swim like five times back and forth. By the tenth time, I was like almost drowning. So yeah, that's what yeah, people don't realize. Yeah. And let's talk about a little bit of that because we're on the set and people always see the finished product. But just on a daily, I mean, you guys are coming in out of trailers and everything else. Like, how has a a normal day been for you guys on homecoming set? Like, what's mm. the amount of hours you're working, or what, like, how does that feel for for you we as an actor? Like, we do like maybe like 10, 11 hour days. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. We we like to move quickly, and yeah. we put our shots very quick. John, uh, our director, 
is fantastic Wonderful and guy. all the Wonderful people guy. around us you know from the producers amy pascal and um kevin feige their you know collaboration is really amazing yeah mm-hmm. considering two different studios and the way they're you know, meshing is so sweet that, yeah. you know, we kind of just go on set and we do our work and we wait a little bit to, you know, till the next setup or till the next scene and we just keep going and it's great. We all have a fluid thing yeah. and we're all able to put our opinions in yeah. and they're all, you know, of note, which is great to be valued like that. It's really easy. It's a lot easier to deal with when our direct, when John is just very, uh, he, he likes taking like the actor's perspective and it's because filmmaking is like a collaborative effort yeah and when you have all those ideas coming together it's just really you can make something very special and that's what we think we have out here so. i know going into any film like as a actor you must not know how the success of the film is going to be how it's going to come out but with the track record of marvel mm-hmm. uh, does it give you any confidence like you know they're going to get this right or they you know they, they've been so good at these franchises that yeah. with them on it that they're going to Get it's the right very, tone. It, it's very rare. Uh, very fortunately, I have a couple of films under my belt that have been done fantastic. And, you know, some of them you know it's going to turn out from the beginning, first day on set. Some of them you don't. And with this one, besides the track record that Marvel has, just with the script and the people and first day on set, the first week on set, it just seemed like something that was going to be magical. Yeah. And we're all having a great <clears throat> time. And I, I'm more than certain that it's going to be a fantastic film for enjoyable for everyone yeah yeah and, and lastly with the proliferation of all these one-off superhero movies now and dc comics getting in super friends and everything else is is that any added pressure to make sure that this franchise stands out on its own now you know that everybody else it's, it's like the olympics of like yeah of superheroes I, going on now, i definitely you know? think that there's a pressure to always be good in general yeah. but um that whole i feel like that whole like rivalry i guess between like dc and marvel is just really like it's very fan made yeah i don't definitely. think there's a rivalry um we definitely At all. i think marvel has, has set the precedent and you know it's just you know us pushing each other dc and marvel uh pushing each other and any other film really pushing each other to be better and and just in general live up to our standards, which are pretty high at the Marvel family, which is great, because then you know you're in good hands with someone like that. Yeah. All right, well, I'm excited about Homecoming, I mean, and I <laughs> can't wait to see all you guys yeah. on film. I can't wait to reveal some of those secrets to you guys closer to the film. But until then, that's all for